this. This here microphone boom arm. It's from a company called IX Tech, and I ordered it off of Amazon November 6th of last year, and I have been using it ever since. I absolutely love it. Gave it a raving review on Amazon, and they ended up contacting me, and uh, they wanted me to take a look at another version they just came out. It's more contemporary design microphone boom arm. And being a ham radio channel and microphones being, well, rather important to us, and I am a big fan of using uh, a boom arm. This is not only my talk to you on YouTube, but this is how I communicate on ham radio. So I said, sure. So they sent it over to me, and we are going to take a look at this new microphone boom arm from IX Tech, this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. Well, let's take a look at this baby. Let's see what we got. Here's the box it comes in, and here are everything inside so maybe some uh, instructions there for assembly a little thank you there and uh, I'll go ahead and take everything out and we'll come back when I have it all unboxed all right here's all our parts we've got our arms got a little riser here I think that fits in here one of the things I love about the IX tech is just this clamp that clamps onto your desk this thing is beefy uh, I've been using my other IX Tech for, I think, the better part of a year now, and I've been very, very happy with it. So I'm curious to see what this design will do uh, for my setup, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to kind of review this. Uh, they asked me to do that, so always a, always a big fan of a good boom arm for my microphone. So let's put this thing together and see uh, see what we got. It should be, should be pretty easy. We've got... Some of these instructions, these might have been printed in Australia. They seem to be upside down. Oh, there we are. So uh, yeah, let's put this guy together. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna, I'm gonna use this clamp. You can also mount this just on the desk. You can see here, you, you don't have to use the clamp. You can actually just drill a hole and put, and uh, run this part kind of into this somehow and uh, get rid of the clamp part. But I'm just gonna do it with the clamp because that's how I like to rock. Then we've got this little protective thing here, kind of a, a scratch resistant pad, just a sticker. We'll throw that on. And that should take care of that part. Next, we're gonna tighten our clamp onto the desk. Nice and tight, there we are. Then we're gonna insert our riser. And it's important to note uh, both uh, this clamp part and the riser have this little flat head in here, and that's gonna allow you to uh, put tension or loosen how much play you have in your mic stand. I prefer to keep mine loose, but if you wanna keep it tight and uh, prevent it from uh, turning, you can certainly do that. So now there's our riser. Next, we're gonna install our arms. So the first one that goes on has this part going down and then uh, a hole in top, so that's gonna go right there. And then we take the, the other part that's got kind of this nub. This is what's gonna attach the ball head for the microphone there. And you don't have to use this riser either if you wanna keep it uh, a little bit lower because this articulates up and down. So we'll see how this fits uh, with, with my use here. So that's how the arms go in together. Next, we're gonna install the actual microphone holder itself. So we're gonna loosen this up and this just fits around this little kind of grommet jobby here. I don't know what this is actual, actually called, but it just kind of fits around it and you can tighten it down. And there you go. Now I can install my microphone holder and there's a bit of, uh, there's actually, so depending on the kind of microphone holder you have, there's an adapter here. So like my microphone holder has this big whatever half inch thing, but there's the, the 3 8 thread as well, depending on what kind of microphone you have. So that's a nice touch that they give you that, uh, that option. Because different microphones do have different, different microphone holders have different size threads. So that's good. All right, so there's that. Well, it's never good when you have, uh, or installing a new product and you break it right out of the bat. But uh, I, I was going to, uh, there's some, cable routing uh, things under here 
basically this just slides forward and you can remove it and you can route your cable in there. Well, I didn't realize these slid forward and I just kind of pulled it out of this back one and I already broke um, these little plastic retention clips. So I don't know how well this bottom one's gonna hold. So uh, maybe they sell replacement parts or something. Um, but that's gonna, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> Not their fault, it's my fault. I definitely yanked it out, but just wanted to point that out. Just a quick update, guys. I did contact IX Tech and told them about this issue. They said they were aware of it. Uh, I have a very early like pre-production model and they have come up with a fix for the uh, uh, cable management for the boom arm. So hopefully we shouldn't see this problem in the future. They did say they are gonna send me a replacement uh, for the one that I broke, so. Hopefully they make good on it. So, the way you route your cable is you're gonna run it through here. And then we get this guy. Yeah, see, that's not gonna be good for me. I broke it, but you route your cable through there and then you can put it in and it's and it hides it, keeps the wire out of the way, which is, which is nice. But I tend to manhandle things. So then we can plug, plug her in. And we're, uh, we're good to go. Let's see if I can salvage this. Maybe. All right. All right, here we are. This is the finished product. It uh, does everything it needs to do. I'm actually surprised that it works in my setting because I've got a kind of a riser that my monitor's on, but it, it clears it no problem. It goes, goes up and down. The mic can go up and down however you want. It can, it can tuck out of the way pretty easily. So uh, not a bad bit of kit. The, my only criticism is uh, how they implemented the cable management as I've been kind of sitting here fussing with it. Things have popped out a couple times. I haven't broken anything else, but the fact that I broke it literally the very first time I used it, I think that could probably uh, use a bit of a redesign. Uh, I certainly have not had any problems with my other IX Tech. Uh, boom arm that's actually sitting on my uh, <laughs> bench right there. I took it off to do this video. So uh, I don't know if this is the boom arm for me, but this is good for like more of the tabletop where you don't want to have a big extended boom arm going up and then down. Uh, I think I prefer that style personally, but I've had uh, other than the, the cable management on here, nothing but good experiences with the IX Tech. So I, I've not had, you know, as I as I move this around, you're not hearing any any shock, or hopefully you're not. I don't have headphones in. Uh, they've just it's been a really solid mount for me. So I'll leave a link in the description. Hopefully they'll they'll uh, either replace this cable management. It's just a little piece of plastic. Uh, hopefully they'll either replace that or or uh, ideally come up with a better solution because it's even on the top one here that's that's not busted. When I was feeding cable through it, it kind of wanted to fall off, so uh, I'm definitely not a fan of that. But other than that, I think this is a great boom arm. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff 73, guys.